Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. I am doing okay. I actually was feeling like pretty sick. Not like sick, like a cold, but more so like weak. And I just found out that I'm actually anemic, like severely anemic. So I'm gonna start getting iron infusions, which I'm like terrified of because I'm scared of needles but i've been doing a lot of research on it and doesn't seem too bad i also am like very sensitive to iron pills so i tried to take the iron supplements and it just it wasn't going well like literally i was getting vertigo and my stomach hurt so bad and i just can't do it so iron infusion is what it's gonna have to be so yeah that's my life right now but anyways i'm trying to like just do as best as i can because i am like severely anemic i get tired so easily and all i want to do is like sleep all day like no matter how long i sleep i just want to keep sleeping but anyways today's video is not about my health concerns it's about a kind of like a review slash what's in my bag of the louis vuitton toiletry pouch on chain i got this item in december i got it on christmas day last year however the first one that i got was defective the stitching was not aligned so the bag just didn't stand up on its own it kept falling over because one side was a little bit sticking out like compared to the other side one side was sticking out and like on both side one side was sticking out a little bit more so it was just kind of like deformed so i did exchange it for a different one and i got this one and this one was gray honestly the outside the bigger toiletry pouch was in great condition obviously i do have some wear on it which i will get into in a little bit and the toiletry 15 which also comes with it i will say it, it's a little bit um the same issue that i have with the other one where you can kind of see that one side here is a little bit longer than the other side so that causes the whole entire top part to like one side just stick out a little bit more than the other one but this one isn't as bad as my the toiletry 26 this big guy was on the first one that i got it was so bad and it was so obvious and once i realized that it was like that i just didn't want the item anymore oh i wanted the item but i didn't want that item because that one was obviously defective but i love this bag i literally use this so much this is like my going out bag all the time i just think it's so effortless it's just easy it's versatile like everything great about it it doesn't fit like a whole ton but it fits what you need and so based on the wear i would say there's just normal wear on the leather and that doesn't bother me this side has a little bit more wear than this side but again like that's just normal the leather tag on the zipper is basically brand new again this is a little bit different than the regular toiletry 26s because this one has treated vachetta leather instead of untreated vachetta and i don't even think that the regular one that people were converting themselves came with any leather i think it was just all canvas so this one does have a little bit of leather and then where the other d-ring is on this side it's also a leather piece and i will say that the condition of the leather is actually really good the only thing that i did notice recently is this little side right here is like lifting so i might just grab like nail glue or something to close it back up so it doesn't get messed up and this side has a d-ring which honestly i wish that both sides came with this little leather and then a d-ring to attach your strap with this actually came with this chain strap and i actually really like this chain strap if i had other louis like types of bags like this i would definitely use this chain strap with that as well and the toiletry 26 i never really used them together because i feel like this takes up so much space so what i do with this i use this every single day in my work bag which is the Marc Jacobs denim monogram bag right now and I use this every single day in there and in here I just always keep the lip products that I want to keep with me at work so in here 
I have Carmex, the Summer Friday Lip Butter Balm in the scent Vanilla. I have a Dior Lip Glow Oil and this one is in 001 Pink. I have, I just got this. This is the Kylie Skin Lip Oil and this is the scent Coconut and I really like it. I do feel like you need to put a lot of this in order to feel like hydration, but it is really good. And I got it on sale for 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. And then the last item in here is the Summer Friday Lip Butter Balm. But this one is the scent Pink Sugar. And that's everything in here. And as you can see, the wear on this on the inside is basically like non-existent. It is that velvet textile material on the inside. So if you do spill something, it will probably be very hard to clean. But I haven't spilled anything in it. And I will say that this piece looks brand new like it's been nine months and i use this every single day and i think it still looks like i just got it obviously the inside might have a little wear but that's besides the point because it's the inside and i do actually keep stuff in here but the leather tabs this one doesn't have the issue that i have with the other one where it's coming a little bit apart and the zipper is perfect as well all right I actually bought this organizer to kind of use these D-rings on it instead of the D-rings on the Toiletry 26. However, this is too thick. Anyways, so for what's in my bag, because I wasn't recording that entire time. So I'll put everything back in and show you guys. So usually this is what I keep inside of my bag. And I don't really keep my phone in here, but it does fit. I'll just close it so this is what it looks like with my phone and opening it just pulled my hair so I take my phone out and then I have my mirror because you need a mirror with you at all time that one is from impressions vanity I have my keys which my keys do take up a lot of space like more space than most people's keys but this is what she looks like and i'm excited because i did get a new wristlet and a car key cover so can't wait to get that because it's gonna be so cute and pink then i have hand cream in here this one is just from target then i have my touchland hand sanitizer i have my airpods my card holder i've actually had this uh, michael kors card holder for more than a year I think like two years honestly and i got this at the outlets in the men like the men's section for like 20 dollars, and i kind of like forgot that i owned it and i had never used it so i just started using it the leather on this is so soft and it holds six cards and then it has a middle compartment so it's really nice men always get the nicer things and then the last thing in here is my lip combo of the day which is the fenty heat gloss balm in the color hot cherry and then this mac lip liner in the shade strip down i love these um fenty heat lip glosses they're just so nice i feel like they just plump your lips and make it look super nice but yeah this um toiletry pouch on chain does have card slots in the back i just usually like when the bag comes with pockets or just anything like i don't like to put things in it because i don't want to stretch it out because i don't want it to look used i know that sounds so like crazy because it's a bag it's supposed to be used but i don't know i just i prefer not to use it so i've never used these back here actually in this pocket in here the only thing in there is the tags that came with this bag so the little textile card and then the like product code number and that's it they actually did increase the price to this when i purchased this it was less than 1800 and now it's 1800 i don't remember how much i paid i don't think the price increase was that crazy but it was definitely less than that i did not pay that for this but with lv you know there's always going to be a price increase probably like every year sometimes more than once a year so 
if you want something save for it and get it because chances are if you wait too long for it you're not going to want to get it because it's going to go crazy like the price is going to go crazy up and then you might not find it worth it anymore so my thing with lv is if you want something save for it and get it because that price will definitely be going up so i'm just gonna put everything back in and then i'll show you the bag it does hold a lot like i said but it doesn't hold the whole world so this is it i just throw my keys on top but i do try to organize it as best as i can just to like level out how i space things in there just kind of like level it out and then put my keys on top and close this and this is what it looks like without my phone because i usually don't put my phone in here and again i don't put this inside of the bag i don't ever really use it like that because this takes up so much space and then i wouldn't be able to keep like as many things in here so that's her and she's literally so cute i will say that this bag is definitely i wouldn't say that it is worth it now now that they have the set of three so i would get the set of three get something like this maybe like something thinner than this one because this one is very thick and it takes up a lot of space in here and then just buy like a chain strap on amazon or anywhere because you will save so much more money because i think the set of three is like a thousand five hundred and this is a thousand eight hundred now so i would say that if the set of three toiletry pouches was not available this would definitely be worth it because i remember like the pre-love market they wanted so like crazy high prices for the toiletry 26 and the 15 so that was the reason why i decided to just get this set because to me it was worth it because you have peace of mind that your item is authentic and you got a brand new item so to me it was just better so you just have to like look at your options i would definitely if i was looking to get this now i would get the set of three then get like a little something like this to convert your pouch and then buy a strap separately because that way i have all three and i really want to buy that set of three because i'm missing the 19 so if you're like me and you want like the whole complete set then i would just definitely go with that set of three instead of getting this one but this one is really nice you know the, the leather is treated already for you so you don't have to worry about it getting wet i've been in the rain with this so many times and i don't see any staining so that's a plus to me because i don't have to worry about being caught in the rain the little this little guy you know peeling a little bit it does kind of bother me but like i said i might just glue that and that'll be a done cause that's the only like big wear that i see on this item besides that i feel like this item looks brand new and obviously the scratch that i put on it that i concealed it with leather conditioner but yeah i would definitely say that it is it is worth it but if you want all three i would just get all three and convert that but yeah, that is everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video and consider subscribing if you are not already. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye.